I'm good. I'm good. Alrighty. Alright, so are you creating the lobby or am I? Uh, I will. Okay. I've been playing the Xbox for the past week and I've not touched the Switch in a while. So the X button is misplaced for me. Yeah, I get that. Everyone keeps complaining about that being an issue with PlayStation controllers, but I don't see it that way. The A button is on the fucking right! Christ! <laughs> Can I just go out to bed and wake up? I don't care if it's an 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I wish I could just get an entire day of sleep. I won't recommend it. Oh no, I'm sure. Believe me, if I had my, my life, I'd be freezing time whenever I, I slept. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure, whatever. Just, just make the list longer. Maybe if you make it yeah, I... a social life. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, I don't recommend playing um, Uno <laughs> on Switch. Having to invite, because <laughs> it, because uh, Uno has its own separate list. Boy, is it a hassle. <laughs> Always um, done. always done. Yeah, yeah, that, that's how it looks. Yeah, same. So, can I ask you about Karai here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that scream Fortnite? Yeah, it does. 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 Yeah, it I will go with April. Also in the 2003 skin. Uh, I should mention I actually played this game on a string yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I already played this twice. Like I said, I played it on the Xbox when it first appeared um, on the Game Pass. And that's why I couldn't yeah. get the second boss. So I play that again. It's like, oh, they're on Switch now. It's on sale because you told me it's on sale. It's like, all right, I'll get that on sale. I have a lot of games on the Switch I've not picked because it's on sale. I have the Castlevania collection. I've played that once. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I got past the first stage of Castlevania One, and then I died on the second stage. It's like, yeah, not for me, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm barely played the Cow Bunga collection since we got it. <laughs> Same here, I played it once. I was like, let's play, let's play what was it, Settled in Time. It's like, yeah, that's Settled in Time, all right. It's been on my shelf ever since. Yeah. Uh, mind you, I have like three games still sealed in the um, wrapping. Yeah. Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 2, and Persona 5 Strikers. I have not... Oh. Only because I have not played Persona 5. Even though I have Persona 5. I have both Persona 5. I have been very tempted to play that game. It looks... It, but I'd only be in it for the story. Oh, sorry. There's <laughs> also the um, Tokyo Mirage sessions, which I guess is Fire Emblem meets Persona. Oh, oh no, that's oh, oh, oh no, that's Fire Emblem meets Shin Megami Tensei. <laughs> what? Well, well, to be fair, Persona is a spin-off of Shin Megami Tensei. I can hear. Oh, 
that that guy's typing away at just a desk. It's a ninja keyboard. <laughs> uh, ever since Gerard pointed it out, I can't unsee it. <laughs> There you go. I've actually been showing Mel the 2003 series like uh, recently. <laughs> Liked it, but admittedly, it was a little too gross for me. Oh, oh. I, I tried watching the pilot, but Splint seeing Splinter like that really threw me off. He's a slob. My favorite thing about this palette for April um, is that um, well, ordinarily that's a belt, but it's I actually color. It yeah. yeah. I love the attention to detail in these games. But admittedly, this is only, yeah, this is the only beat 'em up I've really loved. Um, no, no, the um prior to Shredder's Revenge, the only um beat 'em up I've played is. Uh, Double Dragon on on PC. <laughs> I, I managed. I managed to get through a majority of Sonic Adventure with the keyboard. <laughs> a tough one. But I, I legit enjoyed the um I, I liked the Michael Bay movies. I like the second That's one. crazy. Mm. Second one is just like okay let's take what we did with the first one and just make a bit more eighties. Like here's here's Bob Rocksteady, here's uh, back to stock crank and crank. <laughs> Yeah. 
The uh, first one's dead, but we lost one of those inside, but the second one was more fun, even though they don't really use the weapons. Oh, wow, it really is just like the live action. <laughs> They're the first live action Turtles movies. <laughs> Like the, but the first one was more serious, and the, and the second one was, it was just funnier. Oh, yeah, it happens. Yeah, that's it. I can't believe he uh, he did like a sequel to that song. Yeah, but yeah, from what Mel tells me, it, and it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Little eyes made a new song and it's cringe. Okay, and <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like Ken Rick actually basically remade his movie. They're going to give you what music video? I did not see that. I've never. I, I only know that they got him to. Um, <laughs> they only brought him back to uh, help promote Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, true. Sure. Yeah, it is very important. <laughs> I still can't believe they got Richard Shock to compose for that game. Oh, the game. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I need to play Spider-Man. I've installed Spider-Man to PS4, and that's how to go. Yeah, I, I recently it, just beat it. It's a lot further than I got with Sable, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I, I recently just beat that game again on PS5. <laughs> with Fable, I was with Fable 2, I got as far as opening the box to put it in the Xbox. <laughs> nice. That's as far as I got, like, you know what, fuck it, oh. Fallout 3. Are there, are there another Turtles movie I liked? The CG one. But maybe it's just because I like I really liked um, uh, James Arnold Taylor as Leo and Nolan North as Raph. Does um, Tales Forever count as a movie? You know, it's more of a special. Uh, I'd say it counts. Oh, you could definitely hear Shadow in that voice. And for some reason, <laughs> and for some reason, they got uh, they got uh, Dan Green to be um, '80s cartoon Leo. <laughs> even... No, they didn't. <laughs> uh, and they have in this game. Yeah, they actually had Rolf Carlson as, as Raphael Classic, but you also had Rolf Carlson on the Tello. Oh! Yeah, all, all, yeah, yeah, the, the, well, Senate at the time, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I love how they actually made a joke about that. You sound weird! You sound weird! <laughs> I still find it funny that, um... The, the 80s cartoon uh, Leo, um, I know him better as um, Corrin from Fire Emblem. Uh, well, um, the one with all the white armor in, um, in Smash. And the chainsaw sword. Yeah. Yeah, it, it 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 has a very um, 
unique audience. Include, including myself. <laughs> yeah. Admit, admittedly, I didn't get into Fire Emblem until um <laughs> uh, until af after Smash Four. <laughs> I'm amazed we still don't have a Xenoblade Warriors yet. Are you going to play those games as well? I technically, I technically could with my Wii U. Because I can quote unquote download Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii. Uh, Uh, I think you have to go, um, back. But because I'm not host, I can just do it on the fly. Nice. <laughs> oh, hi, Pegasus. Um, I'm sad to say the first uh, Turtles game I ever played was that Out of the Shadows on 360. I can, I can see it. The sad part is you can see what they were going for, but it just but fell it, flat. It, no idea where I was going. You get combat with me. Really like, how do you have those dance where you defeat all these enemies and 10 more appear for no reason? Ah. Uh... I did play the 2003 show. The first one. I haven't played any of them. <laughs> L literally, all, all that's on the Switch right now is what I've played. Apart from Out of the Shadows. Oh, oh isn't that the one from... Um... Yeah, I've, I've heard about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, pfft. I didn't even I didn't even see the mark by my feet. But that means I'm in danger. Could not find the ladder for 20 minutes. So obviously, 
filing something makes sense in terms of game. Yeah, absolutely. Or at the very least, have a toggle to highlight it. Yeah. It's not like in Psycho Episode 2 where everything's not having highlights to this day. You can fall down here and die. But yeah, thank you. I mean, I can, I can, there's nothing below it. Yep. Oh, <laughs> you're not alone. Trust me. Oh. Uh, the the problem with uh, with you changing characters, um. In story mode, uh, is that you gotta uh, like level them, all, level them all up again? Yeah, I don't, I don't have that problem because I've already leveled them all up. I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, that went much smoother than your previous runs. Oh yeah, because Leo's uh, air attacks are uh, real, real good. <laughs> All right. Change my character again. I mean, yeah, I will. Splint, Splint is fun, but. Believe it or not, uh, Donnie's the one I suck with the most. Why? Is it the best range? I he just doesn't click with me. I've always been a Donnie fan. I don't know why. I think maybe the purple, maybe it's the bow staff. But I don't know. Donnie has always been my favorite. I, I do I do like Donnie. In fact, there isn't a turtle I, I don't like. But when it comes to playing as Donnie, it's a hassle. I don't know why. Yes. That's a good question. Which tell do you hate, like the least? Ooh. Which is like saying, which is your least favorite kid? <laughs> but still. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, I almost sliced an innocent person in half. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I think this is the first time Usagi's ever been playable. Um, maybe? Ooh. That made me jump. What the fuck? Oh, uh, uh, we're, we're, we got Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God Mel's here to answer the intercom. <laughs> Hit the ones with the axes, they take way too many damage hit. Yeah. Oh yeah, one of the frogs. <laughs> that that's one I, thing. I remember I'll... that episode. I remember that episode. <laughs> that that's one thing I'll give the the twenty twelve series. Um that uh one of them being Napoleon. He's he not only acts like um, Napoleon Dynamite, he's actually played by Napoleon Dynamite. Ha. As well, uh, uh, give me the... Yeah, you need that one right there. I'm trying to think of all the different... There was something else about the 2003 as well that they didn't that they redid better. I think it was Fresh. Oh, was it no Slash, not Fresh. Mm, I 
Oh yeah, it was during Turtles Forever. That's essentially what Han turned Han turned into. No, there was um Slash. It was um originally Raph's uh, Snap Pet Snapping Turtle, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's the 2014 series. Really? I mean, 12. I meant 2012. <laughs> I swear it was in the 2003. Yeah. But Mikey's the only one who had a pet, and that was his cat, Clunk. Hmm. Uh, you might want to... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hate these monkeys. I have one I, I more did. hit left. Uh, you want some health? Like, I can give it to you. Uh, press L. Yeah, there you go. I I, I did like how um, they got Jason Griffith to be um, Usagi in the 2003 series. Really? Oh, yeah. Must have missed that one. Yeah, he did, he did a really good job. There was too many things that like, oh, what has this person acted in since then? It's like, oh, plenty of things. Just you haven't <laughs> noticed him. <laughs> like, there's a, sh a Seth MacFarlane show called The Orville. Apparently, Jason Giver was in that, but it was one of the um, alien races. He was in makeup, so you couldn't see him. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> but at the same time as well, um, I can't remember his, the actor's name, but... He was a host on Blue's Clues, <laughs> but he appeared as a ba as a I guess you call him a, not exactly bad guy, but a defector on the show. And it's like, Jesus, that that's Joe. That's Joe from Blue's Clues. What's he doing here? <laughs> oh, God damn it! Stop! I'm trying to see myself, but I'm glowing red as the same color as the fucking guy. Oh god. Well, he, he's also flashing red, to be fair. Piss oh. off, piss off, dirtbag. I didn't even see the hole. Come on, game. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> it's right below me! Well, you have, you have to... Uh, luckily, the lives reset after every um, after every level, so it's not a big deal. There we go. One, two. Well done. I think the most amazing thing about um, four kids VAs these days is, um, uh, you know, Veronica Taylor, right? I want to, I want to say yes. Uh, she was actually April in the 2003 series. I, I want to, say, I, I know the name. I know the fucking name. Why do I know the name? <laughs> um, but uh, most recently, she was a a teacher in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, who looked a lot like uh, Mrs. Krabappel from Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, look, looked and acted <laughs> like Krabappel. Oh, Veronica Taylor, uh, Veronica I, Taylor, I, Veronica I, Taylor. Why do I know? It's going to bother me now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She was also. Uh, she was the yeah, original. Get off my VA. phone, Christ. She was the original VA for Ash and Pokemon. Ah. <laughs> Don't know why, but me and Sarah, every time we watch something with voice actors, we just see how many names we can recognize. <laughs> how like I know, I do that too. <laughs> it's just it's like oh yeah. Um, 
Tom Kenny was in there, so it's like, where the fuck was Tom Kenny? <laughs> then we watch it, and then you go, oh, there he is. Yeah. Like, oh, like, like the most recent Transformers movie. I was ashamed that Mel and I were ashamed to like, to not notice Michelle Michelle Yar. I don't know that one. Uh, uh, did you ever see Chunky? <laughs> no. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> or Kung Fu Panda Two. <laughs> There's certain actors you can just instantly recognize, like, um, like no disrespect to the voice actors, they do fantastic jobs to emote the characters they play as, but Terra Strong, very obvious. Oh, yeah. Steve Bloom's very obvious. Oh, yes. And Maurice LaMarche. Yeah, him too. <laughs> I, I, I still can't believe, I thought for sure that was um, him as um, Embryo in Crash 4. That's Roger Frank Smith. It is. Yeah. In um, Man of a Mutant, yeah, it is. It's no, no, I'm Embryo. About, yeah. My name sounds like a fetus. No, I was talking about it's about time. Oh, no, it's not. But in Man of a Mutant, it is Lurie's Lamarche. It, yeah, in, in, uh, in It's About Time, it's Roger Craig Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that one. Now it just sounds funny when he goes, My cloaca! <laughs> oh, yeah, we could have used that pizza. <laughs> yeah, <deal> with... <coughs> oh, God! Goonga! Oh, they hit the fucking techno rats. Not they have names, but I just call them techno rats. Oh, Mouses. Oh, I only remember the name. Not the, the Rat King. Not the Rat King. Yep. You actually, you actually get an achievement if you actually beat him as Splinter. You need that more than I do. Dude, you got an axe. I need you, why don't you want to fucking help? No? Oh, screw you, then. Nah, it's mostly for sure, bro. Got it from a proper World of Warcraft convention. I don't want to get it scratched, you know. Resale value. Got these big ones. My Keep birthing. My, my only problem with Casey in this game, eh, he doesn't have a cricket bat. You don't know what a crumpet is, but you know what how to cricket. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can quote the movies. Yeah. <laughs> I miss mm. I miss crumpets. Crumpets are delicious. Just kind of chewy bread at your toes and put butter and jam on. There you go. Yeah, I I used to like them a lot. Used to. Yeah. I'm a very picky eater, dude. Oh, you sound like my kid. <laughs> I love, I love how um you see the ride that he has from Turtles in Time. Oh, get off my fucking hand, you dick! Wait a minute. There is there is another beat em up game I've played in the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one that one mini game from Mario and Sonic at the London Olympics. <laughs> Does that really count <laughs> though? <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think that's more party. I think that's more party game then. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, <laughs> how do you feel about Tails beating up shy guys? Absolutely neutral. <laughs> Meanwhile, my wife would We've be got the same thing. It's how you feel about, feel about playing as Mario beating the shit out of Peach and Smash Bros. Melee's. It's like, I think she deserves it sometimes. Oh, tell me about it. I'm still mad at Peach after Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I 
I still say that's the best ending to a video game I've seen. Because, hey, what do you do? Oh, we're just going to capture Bowser and <laughs> control him. And then when the whole moon's collapsing, oh, yeah. they have the one kick-ass song. Yeah. <laughs> Which is also in Smash. You're two hits away, are you serious? Oh, yeah, did... Yeah, Rat King sucks. Every time they shake like that, I expect them to just, just explode. I know, right? <laughs> they all explode in Shunhei games, why can't they do it here? <laughs> I need to play more Shantae. I have Risky's Revenge and Pirate's Curse on the Wii U, and I have Half a Genie on, on, on the Wii U uh, as well, but as a disc. Oh, yeah. And that was the last thing I bought from Toys R Us before they fucking shut down. A Wii U game uh, bought at half price. Yeah. Where's my drink? The only Shantae game I don't have is the first one, which I've actually been told to avoid. I think that's getting remade, or at least, oh. no, a lost sequel is getting remade. It's basically yeah. 1.5. Yeah, that's it. I think they should remake the first game anyway, because that's kind of a cult game. Probably not great, yeah. but cult classic. So I wonder, which, uh, which Shantae game did you get first? Half Genie. Yeah, for, for me it was Pirate's Curse. Like, I know Seven Sirens is the latest one, but apparently it's like kind of less than. Like, not bad, but, <laughs> but not as good as Half Genie. Well, or ha Half Genie's um, very... The uh, hero is very linear compared to compared to the rest. I don't mind linear. I prefer linear most of the time. No, yeah, same. But uh, but uh, true true fans might uh, Metroidvania fans might be upset. Well, it didn't stop me from enjoying Batman: Arkham Origins Blackgate, which apparently is the one of the worst recent Batman games. Just uh, somehow worse than Arkham Origins itself. I, I've heard bad things about uh, about Gotham Knights. So. Yeah, I just played that recently on Game Pass because it's now available. We had, but because I only got an Xbox One, I have to play it on cloud, which surprisingly runs pretty well. Good God, was I bored within the first hour. Just Ooh. no. No wonder I saw it on sale. <laughs> yep. Just I, you get one hour. It's like okay, the intro cutscene is pretty good to set up everything, but gameplay wise, it's like how can you be? I know. I know Arkham Asylum and and all that have general. Um, openness, but also linearity in what the gameplay has. Like certain I things feel, have like, cer like certain gadgets have the cer certain uses, but at least you have a freedom to use them. Gotham Knights feels feels like hand holding. Like go here, do an attack. Like I attacked a couple of enemies, and all of a sudden it's just like, oh, here's a combo move I just didn't mean to do, and just knocked him out instantly. It's like, okay, so where's the involvement? At least. The Arkham games have uh, some flow to it. Yeesh. That's how bad it is. It's just, it's not, the game's not worth it. Especially when it's like, no. like it's, you have to level up each Gotham Knight, as it were. Uh, I, I've even, I've, I've watched someone um, playing co-op in that game. It doesn't even seem fully optimized for co-op. No. Not to mention, it looks... <laughs> it's a game that's only available on the PS5 and Xbox Series XS. 
but it looks yeah. worse than Arkham Knight that came out in 2015. Ugh. Like, oh, you're not graphics and not everything, because you can. No, I can enjoy a game like Normal Heroes on the Wii, which <laughs> they, the graphics aren't great for that game. But fun gameplay. I mean, you could say the same about about um, about Arkham Asylum, which that's, is that, which still, that still holds up surprisingly well. But visually, you could. Um, there are people who would say it's, it hasn't aged well. Oh, Taco and Reza. I can't remember his name for a second. Baby. I, I think the, the first. I can't decide between what. Between. Um, the first two live action movies. I, yeah, they both, can't they both with... have great highlights, but I think the first one wins out for being a bit more mature about it. What? Well, oh. Yeah, well, I, 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 I a bit. I think not, I, not I, darker. I mean, yeah, I, I heard um, that the reason uh, the second movie is so much funnier is because they're honoring Jim Henson, who had died. Not only that, but also the fact that the parents complained. My kid's saying damn, which is the least, you know, <laughs> offensive word your child could freaking say. Oh, is it is it bad bad to sit here and say? Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. That, that's why I want to hear. That's why I want to hear Shadow saying damn again. Or I mean, saying, it, saying, 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 sending them straight to hell. Apparently, on Morbius, there exists a hell. Oh no, it's just Earth now. Yeah, it's like Earth, Morbius. The pl <laughs> it's, most of the time, it's called the planet. Like, yeah. What planet? It's like you're not gonna unscrew twenty-seven years of being called Morbius to say, "Well, it's not called Morbius anymore." Don't care. It's in the manual. Tubular. <laughs> Vern, you would never say the tubula in your freaking life. Unless you've played Super Mario World. Yeah, but that's in a reference to it. <coughs> all, all I'm saying is all, all I'm saying is if if um if Silver can say crap yeah. The <laughs> shadow can say damn again. I just want this head, Roger Craig, to be a fast sonic. Could just like. So you're telling me Eggman's got all the Chaos Emeralds? Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> just once, you know? Yeah. Mind you, just take. I mean, some of his. God damn it. Some of his work from like Apex Legends. And just reanimate it. Oh, I could imagine. Someone actually did that. They actually um, took lines from. What was it? Dying Light, I think. And reanimated that with Sonic. Nice. I, me I, me I remember seeing someone online. Um, at uh, reanimating a uh, scene from Disney's Owl House um, with Tangle and Whisper instead. Oh, I love that clip. The kiss. Yeah. Is he? Uh, is he yeah. stuck? He was stuck, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay, I think there's something, <laughs> something wrong with my controller. It seems to want to jump straight to left or right for some reason. Hmm. Uh, are you using a pro controller? You're using a pro controller. Well, to be, to be fair, I have experienced drift with the controller I'm using. <laughs> and it is a pro controller. Okay, I hear what it did that for us saying I thought the controller broke.
<laughs> Speaking of Sonic, um, the, 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 the music for this stage gives me real Studiopolis vibes. It's kind of hard to hear over the, ca over the ass kicking. Ah. <laughs> But I can't exactly tell to the, the foot ground, hey, stop attacking, I'm vibing here. <laughs> have you have you taunted uh, in this game yet? You can taunt. Okay, the first button I pick is to taunt. <laughs> I, I love how Donnie's just playing a Game Boy. <laughs> Our origins. Why am I getting my ass kicked down a freaking pit? Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Let me grab you! <laughs> oh, VHS tapes. Kids don't know what a VHS tape is anymore. I remember, I remember making that kind of joke um, when I was playing DK64 on Wii U. <laughs> God, it reminds me of camera which um, comedian said it was like we actually when years ago when you actually when phone boxes were being taken down. First, it was like, "Oh, why are you taking them down?" I was like, "Oh, look at that, they missed one." <laughs> oh my god! I can't yeah, it was that. Like, that was like a pixel away from hitting me. Oh. I think there's pizza in one of these. Can you just rescue me? I'm already down to my freaking thing. There you go. Pizza time. <laughs> oh, sorry. And a disgusting Joey's. bug, which is always a scabbard for some reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those collectibles we've been picking up, um, you can hand them into um, uh, to, uh, uh, people on the map, and they'll... And they give you experience points. It's kind of weird for a beat em up to have to have experience points to level characters. Uh, it's only in story mode. And I guess survival mode. It takes a while, right. doesn't it? Yeah. I dodge out of the way, but still get hit by the other one. <coughs> Most pickups. I don't remember picking them up much anything, like a VHS tape and a, tur and a bug. That's all I got. I think you probably picked up some pizza too. How many stages are in this game? Uh, sixteen, I think. Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're gonna get real Sonic vibes from this stage. Or at least from the music. I think I am. I'll find the OST later. Yeah. Hmm. And so, and some of these vocal tracks do play in the, during the credits, so you'll be alright. You'll hear them then. But one of my favorite little touches is um, when when you hang around the map long enough, you'll. You'll hear a car horn to the tune of TMNT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I was say, even though I love the intro to this, I'm not a fan of the slightly altered version of the intro. You try, you sing along with it, and all of a sudden it's how it used to get off key for some reason. It's just like, what the hell did they do? Yeah. That can happen. Oh yeah, uh, how much of Mega Man X have you played? The intro and Chill Penguin, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I like, Mega Man is a series I want to like, you know? Mm. But it's that difficult. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Trust me. Like, the ones I've I, actually I, managed to play majoritively is 9 and 10. That's it. Um, I, I've yeah, I've only beaten two Mega Man games. Uh, Mega Man Ten as base. Well, Mega Man Ten is an and, e Mega Man Ten is an easy mode. That's the only excuse. And yeah, I I, I finished that one. Yeah, uh, and I also beat Eleven. I have that. I have not touched it. I have. It, I have. Um, it, all but one of the collections on um, Steam. I want to say it's like um, I want to say it's like the Sonic Four of Mega Man, but but it's done better than that. Oh, it's doing it's kind of doing its classic thing, but it's its own thing at the same time. More or less, yeah. And the, only one, Meanwhile, the only two Mega Man games I played, like I played one, two, X, uh, network network transmission, only because I was a big fan of the anime. Uh, Mega Man NT Warrior. I I still find it I still find it funny that um that uh, while writing the Mega Man comics, um, Ian Flynn was actually looking up game like gameplay footage because he sucks at the game too. <laughs> I actually grew to, grew to like uh, like those comics more than Archie's Sonic. Well, like the different eras of now, because you, you have the classic one, then you have the. Penders era when everything got a bit more dark and mature. Then there was post Penders and Flynn, where Flynn was trying to make heads and tails of what the fuck the narrative was. Trying to clean up Penders' mess. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was thousands of freaking emeralds in the whole universe. So we'll just like combine them all into the main seven. And the way, the way he did it was a stroke of brilliance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well done. And then there's the reboot, reboot era, post Genesis, which which was actually my favorite. If I'm honest. Yeah, and I I didn't really get into it because I stopped collecting them when I uh, to save save myself some money, so I stopped collecting yeah. them. And there was like two issues before the reboot happened, before the um, crossover happened. Oh, yeah. Admittedly, that crossover is how I got into Mega Man to begin with. And the second crossover is like, what the hell? I read I read the worlds come, worlds come unite. It's like, oh, yeah, here's Alex Kidd. What does he do? Well, he's just here. Yeah, I, I, I liken... The um, those two crossovers to um, the first two Avengers movies, <laughs> like 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 Age of Ultron, Worlds Unite was okay, but you can't go past the original. No, the original original Avengers, Christ, that was like so, that was like a big event, and that, now it's just like after Endgame, it's like oh, are you still continuing this shit? Can you just wait another five years, please? No, we got money to make. You say that, but I've actually um, 
I actually just started watching Loki. <laughs> the only um, Disney Plus Marvel series we've watched is Iron Groot. Yeah, that 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 that'd be. Considering you have kids, that makes sense. It was like that. Not only kids. It's just it's like five episodes, five minutes a piece, and it technically takes place before Guardians Two. Yeah, so you're not missing much. Oh, it was like oh, 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 for phase, phase four, you have to watch uh, One Division and Loki and what? I guess what if and Falcon Winter Soldier. Oh, it, that that was all right. And now also She-Hulk and Secret uh, Secret Invasion Space Five, isn't it? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost. Quantum Mania was a start of Phase Five. So it's like, hey, it's Phase Five now. What the fuck happened? Oh no, no, I think uh, I think Ant Man was the start of Phase Five. <laughs> yeah, Quantum Mania. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and How did they get in the way so quickly? Less, less said about Secret Invasion is better. I was so disappointed in that. Like, oh yeah, we used AI art to actually make the intro because of the narrative we're, we're providing. It's like, yeah, we get it, but you still got to pay someone to actually make it look like AI rather than just getting AI art, you fucking plebs. <sighs> sad, sad part is... Um, the sad part is uh, Amelia Clark really enjoyed her her time on that show. Mm. God, we have we have black ones now. Yeah, and they suck. Get a grip. Yes, thank you, Raph. Ow. I, mean, I, I haven't been that disappointed in a Disney Plus show I've watched um, since Andor. I have not watched a single Star Wars since Rise of Skywalker. I just know the spoilers and that's it. Yeah. Rise of Skywalker. Oh. That has to be my least favorite movie in the sequel trilogy. I didn't hate it. No, no, me either. But I have so many questions. Oh yeah, oh, Palpatine returned somehow. Go on. Well, that, <laughs> what? Well, I, I feel like that that question is getting answered in um, the final season of the Bad Batch. Yeah. And um, oh. I, I feel like Rise of Skywalker would have been better as two parts. That or a bit like half an hour longer to explain something. Yeah, yeah. Like how how did uh, Mars get her hands on Luke's on the Skywalker lightsaber? Still just, don't I'll know just explain how. the thing. I'll just explain that. Oh yeah, Palpatine's a clone. Just explain that. Apparently they did explain it, it's just you had to play Fortnite to freaking understand it. That makes sense, right? Uh, yeah. We're just crossover, so we hid some law behind it. The one thing that really pisses me off about that movie, the kiss. Oh, between Rey and Kylo? Yeah. Because if you think about it, they're cousins! Are they? Yeah. I mean, you, you think back to Revenge of the Sith when he's when Palpatine's telling Anakin the story of Darth Plagueis. He's essentially implying that he that he gave that he gave life to Anakin. Nah, I think. Because I, I was curious, I read up on um, midichlorians 
That that chestnut of bullshit. Yes. Apparently, um, midichlorians still exist, but they've been dropped down from. This is what gives you the force to. This is what this is what establishes life, and the force is basically the god essence of the universe. Yeah. So apparently, the force. If you if you're strong, if you more midichlorians means you have a more strong connection to the force because it's kind of a middleman. But they also have the ability to create life. So maybe your theory still stands by saying um, Palpatine could have used Metachlorians to create Anakin in um, uh, Simi. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised I remember her fucking name. It's Shmi, but of course enough. Shmi. Mm. Yeah. Nearly everything in freaking Star Wars is catalogued and has a backstory. Which I which, which I am devoted to. <laughs> if if there's one thing I love more than Sonic, it is Star Wars. <coughs> well, like even like in Super Star Wars, there's a giant lava monster in one of the Jawas um, trucks. I don't know how you call them. Desert crawlers. Um, that has a entry in the Star Wars wiki. It has a name. It has an origin. I thought it was just a throwaway boss in the freaking game. But no, it has a name and a purpose. Oh, well, if you're talking about Wikipedia, <laughs> um, it, they have like two different um, they have two different uh, timelines for that. Uh, that that's probably in the legends uh, 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 section. I mean, the fact that it actually oh. exists in general, but it, depending on which legend, well, even then, I was told uh, there's, there's something in Star Wars as well. I was told it's like, oh yeah, in Rebels, there's something called the World Between Worlds. That can oh, alter yeah. that can alter timelines. Yes. Uh, so yeah, which... everything is canon now, but we say which is the main canon. Hey, hey, it's easy to track if they show you the way. It's easier to understand the freaking law of Metal Gear Solid, believe me. And that goes eight way bananas when you're trying to explain Metal Gear Solid two and four. As someone who, as someone who um, watched Barry describe Kingdom Hearts, yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. Oh. I've only, I've not heard the story of Kingdom Hearts three. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I have Kingdom Hearts three. I have not played it yet. I have not played at least half my freaking game collection. Just, just, just what, just watch Barry describe describe that game. That's all you need. But it's the thing, I under up until um Dream Drop Distance, I understood it. <laughs> yeah. I I still find it funny that um that that plot in that world between world and rebels is literally the only time they've uh, they've dealt with time travel in Star Wars. Which is not something they, I think it's not something they should actually deal messed with, really. Well, that, that's prob that's probably why it's only happened once. Does, doesn't it happen in Ahsoka, or is it something? Or was that something else? I don't know. Because because still... Anakin is back, but it looks like his um, Clone Wars self. Uh, I uh, I I have a feeling that's going to get explained in another season. Or if, if you're familiar with the Clone Wars, um, not have you, I, I'm more familiar with the 2D animated one than I am with the 3D one. Oh, um, then that's a bit tough to explain. Uh, uh, from from the way I see it, um, I feel like in death, Anakin has embraced his destiny as the chosen one. Hmm. That's that's the most sense I can make of it right now. 
but there may be another season on the way. I'm not sure. That's what they that's what they tried to explain it with um, Hayden replacing the actor in Return of the Jedi, saying, "Oh yeah, this is before he became Darth Vader." It's like, okay, it makes sense, but you're pretty much removing history. But God, why did I pick that up? Oh, don't worry, I got it for you. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And I'm down again. Eat, my son, eat! 20 cc's of pepperoni pizza, thank you. Oh god, that, that bad cough better not be fucking coming back. That was the worst week of my life. Oh my god. <coughs> quick drink, quick drink. <laughs> have, oh you god. Have, you, have you tried getting back to Sonic Frontiers since showing <laughs> me that video? I have not. I have not touched it in about a week. Oh. Uh, tr no, tell a lie, I have not touched the update in about a week. I have gone back to the main game trying to find all the extra cocoa. I haven't even bothered doing all that. I haven't been I haven't bothered doing the um, challenges. It's like, oh yeah, just run around and just create this chain of stuff to get an S rank that we can unlock the freaking spin dash. Have not the spin dash is very useful, I'll tell you right now. I haven't bothered. I really haven't bothered. I just want to get the extra cocoa, get the extra music, and that's it. <laughs> Out of the three updates, the second one was the most lame update. Like it's co cool on one hand, it's like oh yeah, you get all you get all the um, extra cocoa, you can increase you can increase the um, boost meter. It's like great problem. You draw an infinity symbol with a side loop, and you get infinite boost. Sigh. <laughs> So, I think of an oversight there. Yeah. I'll give I'll give the director this. At least, at least, I, I do like how he's paying attention and to, and to feedback. Yeah. Half of the feedback now is basically, basically just... Like, the first update was, like, the best best one. Like, well, a lot of people will say the third one's best because it's more story, more gameplay. Even though it's the platform and it's bullshit. Uh, you, the worst part is um, you can see what they're doing with the other characters, but don't go into combat with them. Yeah. I got my ass kicked as Amy went around to the freaking Ninja Plus. I tried, I tried fighting that thing as Knuckles and I got screwed. I think Knuckles might be my favorite to play as, though. Everyone's his tails because you just fly. There's a challenge where you have to fly through. It's like you don't really. I can fly up on this platform, fly higher, and I can fly as long as I freaking want need to. Yeah. Tails can just go fuck this and skip every challenge. Same with Amy. <laughs> Her jump is ridiculous, and she can hover. I I guess her connection with tarot cards is um, a lot stronger than we all thought. Yeah. Maybe Silver is her descendant after all. Someone actually did a mod where instead of tarot cards, it's Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Nice. And she's like, there's just Exodia cards floating around her. <laughs> <coughs> Let's go original. <clears throat> I, I do appreciate how they um, use the design of the tarot cards from the comics. Yeah. A lot of people saying that it's getting overblown with her using tarot cards. She used them in the comics. She's used them in the games. She's gonna use, she used them in the animation for Sonic Origins. It's like, yeah, because it's a... Okay, I need to pay attention to myself because I thought I was Donnie for a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm normally Donnie all the time in the turtle game, so. Uh, I hate that muscle memory thing in your head. It's like, 
Oh, not the these guys. Ah, uh, yes, Triceratons. Oh. How is it? Like, we've got ninja weapons, they've got lasers, and somehow we're winning. Yeah, tri Triceratons are, you know, like, too proud of themselves, perhaps. That, that, that's one thing I appreciate about the 2012 series. Um, but the, the, the leader of the Triceratons is voiced by Michael Vaughn. I recognize the name, but I'm not bringing any bells. Uh, did you ever see Star Trek? Which one? Ne Next Gen. Yeah. Um, he, that, that's Worf. Oh, all right. Michael Dawn. Okay, there we go. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just got remembered. He's in um, Ted Two, and he wears a very bad costume of of Worf. <laughs> and he's with Patrick Warburton, and he's wearing a very bad tick costume. Oh no! Yeah. Sp speaking of Star Trek alumni, um, uh, Mel's helped me get into um, Disney's Gargoyles. Oh, and that that has a lot. That has a lot of Star Trek alumni in that show. Sure. There's a movie you should see as well that um, um, Jonathan Frakes encouraged Patrick Stewart to watch, um, Galaxy Quest. Oh boy! Because it's, there's no no alum, alumni in that. But there is so many nods to this to Star Trek and how, like, behind the scenes it was, especially for the original series. Because um, <laughs> William Shatner is not the most likable on, on the set, apparently. Just let me. Nah. <laughs> well, third. But Wait, though, though I do like how um how he takes the piss out of himself in um the Futurama episode. <laughs> yeah. Star Trek 3 was great because I actually respected my matches. And Star Trek 4 and 5 were great because I respected me. <laughs> All these guns in the background, you're not using them? Oh, damn, I'm down. <laughs> uh, L, God, please. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you. I get my left and rights mixed up now. Who the fuck are you? Whose desk? I I know very little about the eighties um, era. So do I remember watching it was on syndication because it was more eighty, eighties and ninety. So I just know the movies and whatever um, um shows were put on. So, yeah. but. Yeah, I know Slash, I know Leatherhead, I know those freaking frogs, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really get into the Turtles until the 2003 series. Oh, same. Like, the intro really got me. Oh, it yeah. Was such a catchy intro. But I did not watch Fast Forward. I didn't know there was a sequel series. Oh no, oh no, that, that's just the next season. It just had a, a different name. I didn't, I didn't know there was one. Uh, it, yeah, seven seasons and, and the movies. <laughs> everything except everything except Turtles Forever is on Paramount+. Plus. And even if it was, it won't be the real Turtles Forever. Apparently there was an extended version that never got that Never got released. Ah, yes. The one where, the one where Shredder starts uh, removing himself and hesitates. Then he's like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, probably there's also a couple of scenes that explain away certain lines of dialogue that, you know, just seem out of nowhere. Yeah, true. Okay. Spare you from the confusion. 
I'm gonna spam myself as well. <laughs> I could I could swap the layout just to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll be crying. And... <coughs> Gosh. Oh, back to stock. I, I really want to want to get into the IDW Turtles comics. Yeah, because oh, there's two versions really. There's the Saturday morning cartoon ones, and there's the other ones, which apparently they killed off Splinter. Oh, I, I I remember hearing about one where they killed off Donnie. Oh, the last Ronin is a sub series, which apparently is really fucking good, and it's Michelangelo's the last one alive. Yeah, that's which is getting turned into a game, and having a sequel comic. Um, I just there's, there's a lot of things like a lot more mutants appear, have appeared. There's um, Janica the female turtle yeah. who was originally a foot clan member yeah she only got turned into a turtle because that um, leo gave her his blood yeah yeah now she, I'm, ha I'm now, she ha now she has the yellow bandana and has a uh, ninja claws yes uh venus is back oh really oh yeah but originally she was a frog and she got killed and her s mind she got kind of Frankenstein back into a turtle body. And she she's still spiritual, but it she I can't really explain it. A lot of weird shit happened. Ad admittedly, the main the main reason I wanna get into um, the IDW turtles is for a potential crossover with Sonic. <laughs> I need that one. Oh, fucking see yeah, those. I... They yeah, look, they look stationary, you know. So it's like. Zzz. I mean, I, I can just, I can just imagine like a Shredder not having patience for Eggman until. Until uh, he delivers. Well, I imagine Turtles even cross over freaking everything right now. They had to cross <laughs> over with Power Rangers twice. And, and, and the, the best part is that they have Turtles and Sonic have crossed cars before. Uh, when? Um, Sonic was just racing through the sewers of the Archie comics once, and yeah. There they were. Oops, sorry. Oh, that explains everything. <laughs> I, I would, I would, I would laugh if um, should a crossover actually happened, they actually mention that. <laughs> you I, look I don't familiar. think I don't think Raff and Nux will really get get along too well. Sonic and Mikey, on the other hand. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that, that goes double. I'm trying to think of the Turtles crossovers. They did, power, did two crossovers with Power Rangers to a point they actually got the. Um, the. Uh, the Megazords actually were real um, animals, not just robots. Uh. I know they've also crossed over with Ghostbusters. Uh, right now, they got a crossover of Stranger Things. Yeah, which is the weirdest that. fucking one. Oh, and Street, Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter, and I want to say Transformers. Ah. Uh... And just in time. Nice save. Got these little things to shoot lasers. 
Oh. But, but all, all tech in this game sucks. I'm just gonna say that. All of Mike, all of Donnie's tech is made from freaking trash cans. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I know, I know one um, crossover I want to see with the turtles that'll never happen: Spider Man. Yeah, that'll never happen. Sad, uh, sad part is it, it's the one that would make the most sense. I'm jumping, you dick. Nope. I somehow still hit him. Go figure. <laughs> you got a bit of a range on that special. Got him. There we go. Oh, did not mean to do that. <laughs> I'm having fun uh, with this. I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh yeah, Th this game's awesome. It m it's definitely one of my favorite games from last year. This, I think when it was first announced, it's like really you're gonna make a beat 'em up game of turtles. It's all 2D sprites. But it's like no, it works. It just works because the developers is like yeah, we know what to do because. We love the previous Turtles games. They they also made um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which explains a lot. I need to get that as well. But I want a special edition because I want a box art. <laughs> best part, best part is you can still see some of that in here because um, <laughs> the the detail on 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 April and Karai's butts. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have a keen eye for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know I said I'm not not much of a butt guy, but it takes a lot for you to notice. Yeah. Lots of Rockies over here. Stone Warriors. Was a naming convention out of snacks? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it's just Stone Warriors. It's such an 80s name. Yeah, I know they get the tells are 80s. <coughs> oh god damn it, fucking cough. Uh. You're trying to talk a sentence and all of a sudden. <coughs> I know exactly how that feels. I, I swear the the night I just had a big coffin fit. It was so ter it was so bad. Oh, ever had one of those fits where you're actually struggling to breathe? Uh, no. I don't think I was struggling to breathe. All of a sudden, every time I thought it stopped, it started again. To a point, it got really to a point. I threw up three times because of the coffin. Oof. That's how bad it was that one night. And it took like a week and a half for it to, for the coffin to go away. I've still got a little bit, but at least I can string a sentence more than ten words before the cough starts to tickle a little bit. <sighs> That's <laughs> and the whole house got sick. Everyone got sick. <laughs> but, First it was the kids but... who had a cold each. Then I started having a coughing fit, then Sarah got her cold. It was... Let it, let, it never be said you, let, let it never be said you don't know how to share. <laughs> I know the share, it's just when the kids ask for my freaking bag of Cheetos, it's just like, these are, these are daddy's Cheetos, you can have some when I, when I give some. So I put them down, walk away to go grab a drink, they've got their hands have elbow deep into the bag. Uh, of course. 
No, I'm and, just, and the look at me going, sorry. It's like, if you're not, do, don't be sorry. Don't do it. Reminds me of um, when when I sent when I sent Tim Tams to England for Mel and her family. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Her, her little brother um almost ate the entire um box himself. Oh my god. I've read stories of that where bit where you buy. Someone buys fast food and all suddenly one person left alone with the food eats the majority of it. It's like, oh, was this someone was it everyone else's? I was hungry. It's like if you knew that you Like, I've been hungry and wanted to eat other people's food before because I, it it was good. But I'm not that selfish. Uh, oh no. Uh yeah, you'd better take that pizza. <laughs> Drag. But with two ways, thank you. Oh, nice, I got that. Boom. Oh, I found half health. I forgot where I was for a second. Oh, he keeps glitching around. <laughs> oh, not done yet? Nope. Rules of games, when a boss comes up, you move on to the next stage. You don't just continue it. That would have been a very short stage. Really? It felt kind of... normal. I mean, to be fair, we are in the techno drawer. God damn it. I keep forgetting how good Karai is. I hate that. Uh, you, know how to, you know how to throw... Um, Foot Ninja towards the screen, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, all, you, all you need to do is just approach them and and press down and Y. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, I like that one. I've never, I've never actually seen Karai try to revive someone. <laughs> oh, see ya. Yeah, it's just... It was like, turtles, fuck this. <laughs> Mistress Karai, no! I will not be involved in another family feud. This is my, I don't know why I just got the gold member in my head, basically. You haven't got a name tag, just lay down. <laughs> yes. Every time I move, I get hit by a freaking stone warrior. Now, this guy is almost always invincible. I was trying to avoid you. Yeah, here's where you have to throw a foot at the screen. Now, wail on him. Alright, so... And and it's just, it's just... Just, like, his... It's like, here's 10 stages where you have to wail on the enemies while avoiding their major attacks. 
And all of a sudden, like, here's some tactical ones. I mean, they had to they had to reference that boss fight in Tales of Time yeah. in some way. Which I honestly thought was hard as balls when I played it recently. Hell, uh, hell, Mel oh, loves beat him up. God. Even she was struggling. There we go. There you go. <laughs> you could look at a what? Yep. You make it three three pixels wider and just had a little v, uh, upside down Y. <laughs> There is just something weird about seeing Shredder, not Shredder, Splinter on a hoverboard. Yeah. So let's make it even worse. <laughs> no, yeah, bring up Scott Pilgrim again. It's just. Yeah, it's surprising that actually got re-released, considering it appeared sh um, shortly after the movie, and then just gone. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Maybe they re-released it to help um, promote uh, the end, uh, coming out anime on Netflix. Maybe. That comes out next week, doesn't it? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't like the movie. Why? It 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 just it just wasn't just wasn't grabbing me. Okay, part of the plot basically, yeah, he cheats on his current girlfriend for someone else he barely even fucking knows. But I just, I just <laughs> saw it once I just remember seeing it once and I was like eh Well I don't know, the fight scenes, the the dialogue even the even the chosen actors like Brandon Roof and um, Chris Chris Evans in it. Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll never say no to Chris Evans. I didn't well, know. Brie not to mention it's um, Edgar Wright film, and that could pretty much extra points for me. Edgar Wright made the Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they are fantastic films as well. If you don't like Hot Fuzz, what's wrong with you? I never seen, never saw it. Mel, can you force this guy to watch Hot Fuzz on and Shaun the Dead <laughs> and The World's it's End? Not, <laughs> it's not here. I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just remind her later. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> they actually, they don't look like Xenomorphs anymore. Pizza Morphs. What the flying? Either have a special ready or charge up and attack. Four. <laughs> Sorry, six. That makes both sense. You've actually seen the show bottom. That's something that always bothered me about um, about uh, Pirate Plunder Panic in Sonic Universe. What's that? <laughs> when it, when when Amy's yelling "four" uh, while I'm um, swinging at that pirate robot, and and and, and Marine says that a ten for sure. I feel like she. I feel like she. Uh, I feel like a six would have made more sense for her. I haven't seen. I can't remember that episode. Wait, was it something boom? Or was it a comic? Uh, that that was them um, Psych Universe. Oh okay. And I said marine, not sticks. I heard in the Sonic Universe, not Sonic Universe. Oh. 
Yeah. That's why I, I, I got confused. And I thought you got confused with Sticks and Marine, like a lot of people did when they first saw her. Yeah. I can't wait to see how they reintroduce Sticks. I mean, she'll just appear. I guarantee it's just like, oh yeah, they've always been friends. It's just in this universe now, as opposed to, I, you know. I, I, they never, never explained it in Boom anyway. It's just like, they're friends now because shut up. Yeah, I, yeah, I'd laugh if she only knew them because of, yeah, because of the Rio Olympics. Maybe a fourth world breaks is her thing. Yeah. I, re I remember hearing that um, you know, Flynn's original plan was that um, Sticks um, had to. And it had somehow appeared on Angel Island. Yeah. And and she would have been spotted uh, like during during the battle for Angel Island or something. Yeah, she. I guarantee you, just gonna put her there. Just there's like oh, the stick. It's kind of the same sticks, but not but not really the same sticks. As long as she's still voiced by Nika Futterman, I don't care. Oh, that is a rule. <laughs> it's kind of... Ha, ha, it's, I keep noticing her voice now, because she's very distinct in her voice. Yes. Like, I watched a kid's show uh, with, with mine called Storybots, and just all of a sudden, just like... A character just started talking. It's like that's Nika Futterman. Yes. So I was like, it's the bat, it's the the voice of the badger. It's like voice of what from the Sonic? It's like oh, Christ. It's like I was, it's also when I noticed that when I was playing the freaking open season video game. She's in that. Oh, <laughs> it, I was requested that on Patreon for a review. Oh boy. <laughs> I, I also know her as um, Ventress from the Clone Wars. Uh, or uh, Pandora from Kid Icarus Uprising. There was a cartoon called Mike Luanog. She was in that. Uh... Yeah, I, I knew from that too. Ah, I'm down. Ah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I got knocked down, but let's celebrate. <laughs> Most times sprinting. Yeah, because I just knocked the freaking controller too hard. Jeez, set in time already? Jeez. Neutrinos. Uh. Yeah, I'll go back to Kurai. Oh, now we're facing him. Oh yeah, have you seen um, Mayhem yet? No, not yet. Neither, I've heard good neither, things. Neither have I, but I just... The trailers do not sell me on it. I don't like the designs. I don't like the voices. It just... And Splinter looking the way he is. Christ. So, having him voiced by Jackie Chan is a stroke of brilliance. I will admit. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's brilliant or just kind of generic casting. It's like having uh, Marco voice him in the TMNT movie. Yeah, that's fair. Ad admittedly, I did like Tony Shalhoub as Splinter in the Michael Bay movies. Mm. There we go. Oh. Have you have you seen Gerard's review of this game? 
I haven't seen him keeping up with him. Oh, that 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 is so that that isn't a group. Oh, I sorry. Right. Um, I know there's a lot of people who I've subscribed to, and I don't really keep up with everything. Like Gang Grumps, the occasional video I'll watch. Stay. Like, he, like, um, I'm on observation duty. That was a, that was fantastic to watch. And but other than that, not much. Gerard, I I feel like I should, but at the same time, I don't. Oh, he was he was just streaming yesterday. I was trying to wrap up Tears of the Kingdom. Feels so bad for him. Good, good. I spent sixty hours in that, and I guarantee at least forty of that was basically exploring caves. Oh. I I I ended up giving up and giving away my copy of the game. It was you gave just... it away. Well. I, sorry, I traded it in for, to, to pre-order Sonic Superstars. That comes out next week. Yeah, yeah, just just days before Mario and Spider-Man. I think it'll be fine. Like, there's something I, I could explain this in one of my podcasts and. Like, usually when a Sonic game comes out, you have a level of concern about it, because whether or not it's going to do well. Like, with yeah. Frontiers, like, brand new gameplay, different direction from the previous game. They did well. They're good. But Superstars, like, nothing about it I feel concerned about. It's just everything's going to go right for it. Yeah. So it's not, not like Mania. It's like, oh yeah, it is developed by... Um, a team of fans, and it's a 2D sprite game and released in 2017, so whether or not it's going to be good, and Jesus Christ, fucking... But with Superstar, I don't feel concerned for its success. Nah. No, that that I, that I agree with. It's like, okay, it's 2.5D rather than 2D, something that Sonic 4 should have been originally. Um... Got new gimmicks to keep you keep you keep you on your toes. You got four playable characters, including Amy, and you got um, Oshima at the helm as well. One of the original fathers of Sonic. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's the right. Well, I'm not really concerned for its success. Whether or not it's going to outsell Mario is debatable. I do think Mario's going to outsell it though. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, Mel and I are both, are both, have both said that we think we're going to enjoy Mario a lot more than Sonic. Oh, yeah, because Son Sonic seems standard. You've got a few new things, but it seems standard. Mario says basically, um, we ate shrooms, I would can't remember what the fuck we made. <laughs> I, I just hope more game devs follow... Um, Mario Wonder's suit, and that they take their time. Oh yeah, Tears of the Kingdom and Mario Wonder um, took time. Apparently, they spent so much time adding new gameplay to it, they didn't, they finished before I even noticed it. That's why you had I, that's why I, you had the Wonder Flowers, and just everything just goes, you know, yeah. acid trip. I still love the uh, um, the Pikmin Four only released this year, and yet. And yet, it was almost it was almost finished like a few years ago. Yeah, per yeah. Tears of the Kingdom was was finished last year. This year was just spent on polish. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Pikmin Four. They were like almost finished with it a few years ago, and then me and Mono said, "We need to have a dog." <laughs> but compare that to uh, Pokemon. Christ. Don't even get me started. I liked Legends Arceus. And and I was never into the original Diamond and Pearl, so Yeah, Diamond and Pearl I have the remakes. I finished the league and I just stopped. Yeah, I, I remember I remember actually playing Diamond when they originally released. Uh, I just I just reached the Elite Four and just 
stopped. I don't know why. I think I was just bored. Um, but I apparently I got I got shield. Then I got violet, and then I got brilliant. I got shy and pearl, and I finished finished all three leagues within three months. I got addicted. I don't know why. Uh, I have Arceus, but I have not finished it. I'll tell you the truth, if I barely started it, I got the first alpha Pokemon, and that's all I did. I got my ass kicked by a freaking Parasect, and I kind of stopped. I, I just wish Scarlet and Violet had more time in the ovens. Oh, definitely. Like, <laughs> just uh, just, I, just I, performance I have... wise. Yeah, I have said several times that I think it is the Sonic 06 of Pokemon. I blinked. Where the fuck did he come from? Oh yeah, you'll um, you'll be able to hear Wu Tang playing during this song. Ow! I think I think I hear it. Yeah. God, will you stop going M. Bison and just attack us, please? Uh, no, hold off, please. Please, no. There we go. Back and down, like lightning. Gee, what the fuck? I am... Not having a good time on this boss. Hey Dan. Hey. Ah dang. How's it going? Can you make this guy watch Shaun of the Dead Hot Fuzz in the World's End, please? Because <laughs> 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 apparently he hasn't seen it and he didn't like Scott Pilgrim, which is bad at the same director. Alright. <laughs> Damn, I was hoping you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Shredder, for fuck's sake, stop going M. Bison on me! Oh, God. Done. There we go. I'll say one thing. One thing about Scarlet, Scarlet and Violet, as well as Sword and Shield, for me, is I don't think I could ever go back to a classic Pokemon game. Yeah, yeah, I remember trying that recently, and I was like, uh... "How the fuck do we play these games without a run button?" How do we play these games on a grid? Oh, that blew my mind when I played um, out, um Omega Ruby. It's like you can go diagonal. Yeah, I, I was like that with with X. No, wait, Colosseum. I have XD Gale of Darkness. I hear that's a really good game, but I have not played it. It sits on my I, shelf. I don't know I, when I, I got I, it. It's just sitting there. I, I haven't played Gale of Darkness, but I've heard I've <coughs> heard good things. And so have I. Just mm. you start with an Eevee instead of an Umbreon and Espeon. Mm. That's the only time you'll see a Dark Lugia. Which, I recall, wasn't actually made for a game. It was specifically made for the Pokemon 2000 movie. <laughs> but it didn't have a second legendary for so so Gold and Silver, so they used Lugia. I can't help but wonder if the, um, the Dark Mewtwo skin in Smash Ultimate is a reference to that. I'm not too sure. I'm not too the only thing of that Mewtwo I know is the um, Pokémon tournament. Oh, no, a different one. Oh, um, by the way, uh, when the statue opens its mouth, um, head up to one of the uh, to the top or the middle of the screen. Like now, <laughs> if that thing hits you, insta kill. Well, that's just unfair. Yeah. Meanwhile, I laugh at the face of danger. Just 
statue of tyranny. Well, <laughs> well while pulling off shore, you can. <laughs> And I'm down for the count. Oh, I can't help you! I survived! Don't you dare. You bastards. I'm good, I'm good, I'm back. <laughs> Don't know why I, I, I wasted that. As excited as I am for Mario Brothers Wonder, uh, I, I I think I made the right choice in waiting to play that until December. Yeah. Because, let's face it, spoilers for Mario uh, don't seem as big of a deal as Ow. um as, as as big of a deal as say spoilers for Spider Man. I thought I could knock him knock him out when I was still. Well, I wasted that. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember how I said Chrome Dome was almost always invincible? Yeah. That goes double for this. Super Shredder? Yep. Notice how it says 3 He was such, a, it was like, so cool, but such a disappointment in the movie. I know, right? <laughs> and how is it that normal Shredder can... Jesus Christ. Oh. oh I'm, I'm down. <laughs> there. That's when he's vulnerable. Good damn, did you just... Yeah, he did. He... Don't, yeah. don't you fucking Shang Tsung me! Now. Yeah, once you figure out this guy's patterns, it, it's, it's surprisingly easy to deal with. I don't know why I dashed there. Neither do I. Oh. What the? Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> He grabbed you, you but right? yeah, I what saw it. He grabbed you, but he went to the dash. Was he using telekinesis on me? <laughs> I guess he did. Ow! Awesome. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> what? You can't. Oh, the animation wasn't working. I, f I think the online connectivity is fucking with the uh, animations. Oh. Oh, this is really messing with me. Ju just yesterday, I was playing with two Americans and a Canadian. Oh, piss off you. Okay. So even when, even when he's grabbed someone, he can't. Ow. That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, that was a huge it mistake. It was right there! <laughs> oh, fuck off! Oh, another freebie. Yeah. Done. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Don't tell oh. me you have a sliver. Yep, that's exactly what he has. Just kick him in the nuts. Be fine. Goes down for the count for the next six hours. Uh, if, if you check your achievements... Um, uh, in one of the menus, uh, you'll actually see a reference to Turtles 2. 
You, you just see Super Shredder's hand come, coming out of some wood. Yeah. Giz. Normal Shredder falls into a trash compactor, somehow survives. Super Shredder has a peer fall on top of him. And the, and the peer wins. I never got that either. Though I love how Casey's just... Oops! He, he hasn't aged that well, but he was fucking awesome as Casey. Yeah. So I think we can all agree the third movie was the not punk good. frogs. Yeah. And um, if you beat if you beat the game if you beat the final boss with different characters, you do, you see different endings. All that machine just to make a freaking cappuccino. How is Casey eating that pizza? Uh, the same way Deadpool does. This guy shoves it in really far and just whatever he find, grabs onto, he pulls. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> uh, would that be your first time playing co-op in this game? Yeah, I re it's a thing. I rarely ever play online, especially co-op or even versus. The last time I played an online co-op was Gears of War 2. Remind me to go through um, Saints Row 3, uh, Saints Row 4 with you. That That is a fun game to play. I've, I've never done co-op in that. I'm not too sure if I could. I think I did finish it originally on the 360. I really want to get got out of hell. But now I have it on the Switch. It's like, you want to play through it again? I'm not too sure if I would. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I've got a bunch of games that like, I have them for the sake of having them. And it's just like, oh yeah, I have Tatsunoko vs. Capcom on the on the Wii. It's like, will I play it? Probably not. <laughs> it's just apparently one of those games that is really fucking hard to find. Yeah. That and every single Crash Bandicoot game, apparently. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have problems. But yeah, did you have fun? I had fun. I just that cat fell my ass right now. <laughs> no, that's fine. Uh, Mel's just been going off to get lunch, so I think I should stop there too. Let's <coughs> just fly through these credits. Yeah, I did that too. And um, I probably won't be. Unlock Casey that. Jones. Yeah. All right, that was fun. Yeah, yeah. If you ever want to try out survival mode, um, um, don't don't do it on your own because you will die quickly. Ah. All right. <coughs> oh god. I can't get. I have yeah. no feeling in my ass. Yeah.